Um, but you know, for the normal person is what is this rugged life that we're talking about and why, why would it be something that someone would want to do when there's so many easy ways to live our lives today? Yeah, man, you hit a bunch of great stuff. I think, um, first I'll start by answering the question with the pandemic certainly taught us all that being a little more self-reliant can be very valuable. It can be important. It can just allow uh, a certain level of independence and freedom uh, that you can't get if you are reliant on all these other things that you mentioned. So I would say first and foremost, you don't have to dive 100% into the rugged life. I built the book so that you can just dip your toe if you want. You living in an apartment in a, in a urban environment um, can do a lot, even with limited space, to increase your self-reliance and actually fend for yourself. Whether it's ver these vertical gardens now, I mean, you can grow just about anything inside, the, inside your apartment in the corner with very little maintenance. It's just time, right? You just wait for things to grow and then you know you've got it. Um, or if you decide you dip your toe a couple of times and you like all these different little projects that you're doing and you're realizing, holy, holy crap, this is actually not just as it giving me something in return, but the hard work that goes into it just feels so much better than, you know, using an app, right? I mean, there's, you don't get any satisfaction except the, the fat pill that shows up to your doorstep by using all the different Uber Eats and whatever else is out there, you know? <laughs> Um, having your groceries delivered to your door. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, what if you could just grow some of those things yourself? And that's, um, and that's just a piece of it, right? Um, if you're not into the farming aspect, well, then maybe it's the hunting. If you're not in the hunting, then maybe it's just being your own handyman, being your own power grid, be your own uh, homemaker. I mean, I was surprised at how many household products especially in the uh, hygiene and the, the, the hygiene and grooming side of the house, that if you've just got uh, beeswax and, you know, and some coconut oil, you can make shampoos, pomades and conditioners, right? Um, so the other piece to this whole thing with the rugged life is it's more like a family experiment. I mean, if you get the whole family involved, um, I feel like it brings everybody together because we are so stuck on technology. You have these days, you have an entire family sitting in a living room. It's on Netflix, like you mentioned, but everybody is still on their own personal devices and there's no solid family time. So rugged life, how, at whatever level you want to kind of um, live it, it, you will find out that whether it's one project or a dozen projects, uh, when the whole family is involved, you're just going to all be so much more healthier. You're going to get that camaraderie going again. And you're not just, you know, a bunch of individuals living in a house together.